So this one is a periodic table question from Feb March 2016 session. Uh, we have rubidium is a group one element and it has a similar chemical and physical and chemical properties that of other element. What are the other elements from this group? We have lithium is there, sodium is there, potassium, rubidium, cesium and friendship. And as we go down the group, uh, these because the size of an atom increases, so metal tend to lose electrons. They can easily lose electrons. So the reactivity, the way the react, that reactivity increases as we go down the group. So predict how many electrons are there in outer shell of a rubidium atom. The group numbers are actually representing the number of electrons in the outer shell. So how many electrons should be there for rubidium? It belongs as it belongs to group one. How many electrons should be there in the outer shell of rubidium? One. So that is one. Because the group number is actually identity of the, uh, like showing the number of electrons in the last shell, so that is one. So even if the same question was there, how many uh, electrons are there in outer shell of lithium atom, that is one. Sodium atom, one. Potassium, one. All of them will have one. Then predict one physical property of a rubidium which is same as that of a transition element such as iron. So we want to predict the physical properties. Physical properties refers to a density, refers to a melting point, refers to a boiling point. So these are the physical properties. So which physical property that resemble with iron? So iron is actually a transition element. So simply what we have to say, we have to say, a property which resemble with iron so or any other transition metal. So we can mention that it will be shiny because all the metals have a shiny surface. So we can mention it will be shiny or, but you cannot say it will have a high melting point because uh, group one will have low melting point. You can mention, yeah, conduct electricity also. That is a physical property. There's no chemical change. All the metals can conduct electricity. So you can mention conduct electricity. The next, predict two physical properties of rubidium, which are different to those of transition elements such as iron. So the density is different. It will have low density because the transition elements will have high. And it will be generally soft where transition elements are hard. So these are the two different physical properties. The next part. Yeah, relatively soft, you can mention. Even we can use a knife to cut these. The next one is rubidium is added to a cold water to a, a reaction occur. State two observation made when rubidium is added to a cold water. In a physical property, you cannot say alkaline. Like, because physical property refers to melting point, boiling point, density, conduction of electricity, hardness or whether it is like texture soft or hard or shiny or a dull surface that these are the physical properties chemical properties you can mention the things but here we have to write state observation we don't have to mention what will be the product we have to mention what are the observation observation means what we will see so basically what will happen as we add rubidium metal to water it will make an alkaline like rubidium hydroxide plus hydrogen so hydrogen gas, so we'll see bubbles. Bubbles of hydrogen will be there, not oxygen, because when alkali metal mix with water, it will give so, uh, hydroxide, alkaline solution. So what we'll observe, we'll observe the solid side decreases. The solid side decrease and we'll see bubbles. Or Because here it's observation, so we can see bubbles. We can say bubbles, effervescence, or and it's of two marks, so we have to mention two observation here, as they mentioned. So the solid side or medium size will decrease. 
The next is what would be the color of the solution if methyl orange was added after the reaction? Because so methyl orange is an indicator and when rubidium is added to water, it will turn into rubidium hydroxide. And rubidium hydroxide so means alkaline solution. So what is the color of methyl orange in alkaline condition? It is yellow in color. If it was an acidic solution, then it will be acceptable like steam methyl orange, acceptable red, otherwise orange will be there. Then write a chemical equation for reaction between rubidium and water. So chemical equation is whites of two mark. One mark is for writing a correct formula and the second mark is for the balancing. So rubidium symbol is RB and because it's a metal, so it exists as an atom added to water, which is H2O. As a result, it produced rubidium hydroxide. How to work out the formula of rubidium hydroxide? Rubidium is group one, so valencing plus one and hydroxide a molecular ion minus one. So when we cross multiply, this will be rubidium uh, hydroxide. And then hydrogen gas is there. Hydrogen cannot exist as a monoatomic, so it is always diatomic, so two will be there. Now we have to balance the equation. For balancing, we start with oxygen followed by hydrogen, and then we use other elements. If we start with oxygen, it's already balanced. What about hydrogen? Two plus one, three here, and two. So what we do, we put two here, so hydrogen make four. So we put two hydrogen also four. So hydrogen balance, oxygen is balanced. And what about rubidium? We put two, so rubidium is also balanced. So this is one mark is for writing a correct reactant and product their symbols, and the second mark is for the balancing. After balancing the next part, the next part, put the group one element starting with cesium, lithium, potassium, rubidium, sodium in order of the reactivity. So cesium, like, Cesium and lithium, like order of the reactivity, most reactive first. So which one is the most reactive? So you can use a screen annotation to complete these boxes. Just write the symbol instead of writing full. You can just write the cesium as CS, rubidium as RB, potassium. So cesium is there. Medium. And the first letter should be capital potassium. Sodium and the last one is Li or lithium. Then suggest one safety measure that you should be used when rubidium is added to cold water because the reaction is like an explosive reaction. So for that, we should uh, use goggles, we should use um, lab coat, or we should stand uh, away from the source or using a tongs or safety screen. So you can mention gloves, goggles, Then phosphate ion, which is having a formula PO4 with a charge three minus, reduce the formula of rubidium phosphate. What will the formula of rubidium phosphate? If rubidium is plus one and phosphate, which is PO4, a charge minus three. What is the formula of rubidium phosphate? Use the screen annotation to complete this. So rubidium phosphate will be RB3, PO4, and a, a TO4 will be. So this was a complete question from uh, Feb-March 2016 session related to topic periodic table.